So I thought I'd take the opportunity to have a chat with you while I'm walking home from the shops that are closed. Someone suggested to me to how do, do you debate atheists or um, te- contextual arguments that are given involving the Quran and the various early synapses that are doing so. <coughs> Excuse me. For those of you who are lay followers like myself, the simplest argument is, and one of the one that I think works the most effective, is that Uthman or, 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 or um, the, the Caliph Umar is unquestionably one of the legitimate sources of knowledge when it comes to our Prophet, peace be upon him. And the fact that he could standardise our Quran is absolutely and unquestionably historically legitimate. Now, the reason I say this is because he was one of, the, effectively, the disciples. When Christians argue, oh, he changed the Quran, and your answer should be quite clearly, yes, he did. And he, st- he standardised it. Because you take away their ability to claim that the, the, the Quran hasn't been changed, but it hasn't been changed in 1400 years. Since the, since, since the codification of Uthman, there hasn't been a change in our Quran. And whenever atheists and that lot use this, you just remind them he was a disciple of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And Christians and, and atheists, they don't have an argument against this. There's no, there's no leg for them to stand on when it comes towards this conversation. And the reason that they don't have a leg or stand to hold on it is because the reality is Uth, uh, uh, um, the, the Caliph uh, Uthman is unquestionably one of the disciples of the Prophet Muhammad. End of conversation. He has the legitimacy. The legitimacy to make whatever revelations necessary. He's not like good man Timothy or, or, or the early church fathers when it comes towards Bible revision. And people don't realise that that is a point that they don't grasp. The man who made sure the codex of the Quran for 1400 years since the death of our Prophet, peace be upon him, is actually one of his disciples. That is, from a lay follower point of view, a legitimate argument, and we should stand by that.